When I reviewed Owen's HDS2102S handheld scope, I noticed that there were some display discrepancies, possibly due to an issue with the firmware. In the 2 nanoseconds per division horizontal range, the graticals are not spaced correctly. As a refresher, let me demonstrate that here. I'm using the O1 DGE2070. Currently, I'm outputting a 50 MHz signal. And the time base is currently set at 5 nanoseconds per division, as you can see here. And you also see that we're taking up 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 of these divisions, which translates into a 20 nanoseconds period. So no issues here so far. But let me change the horizontal to 2 nanoseconds per division. And now let's see, we're taking up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the cycle is taking up 8 divisions, which translates into 16 nanoseconds. Clearly, the display is incorrect. And people had mentioned that this issue had already been fixed in a later firmware version. So in this video, let's do a firmware update and check it out. And before we do the upgrade, let's check out the firmware version currently installed on this 2102S. So let's go here, about. And you can see that the version is currently at 1.33. Okay, so let's find the latest firmware from Owen's website. Let's see, first digital oscilloscope and HDS 200 series. The model number is 2102S. It doesn't appear they have the updated firmware for the latest 2202S just yet. The current firmware version I have here is 1.33, as you can see, and the latest version is 1.51. We're going to select the version with the signal generator, of course. Now, according to the instruction, we have to change the USB mode from HID to MSC. And now the scope should appear as an external storage device. Per instruction, I'm copying the file over and that should be it. Now, according to the menu, I should just be able to power cycle the unit and we should be fine here. So let's power it off and power it back on. So you can see that it is currently updating. It does take a little bit of time. Now it seems the update has completed. Let me put it up again. Let's just verify the version number here. I see, so everything is in Chinese now. Let's uh, change it back to English. There we go. It would be nice if you had kept the setting here, but uh, anyway. So let's see the version number here. Here we go. So let's do about. Yes. So the version now is 1.51. Now, moment of truth. I'm putting in the same 50 megahertz signal and let's see what we get with uh, two nanoseconds per division setting here. So now we're at two nanoseconds per division. And uh, let's just set the trigger a little bit so we can see it clearly. So we can count. Half of the waveform is one, two, three, four, five. So we have five of these divisions. And that translates into 10 nanoseconds. So the full waveform is 20 nanoseconds in duration. That translates into a 50 megahertz signal. Well, it appears that the issue had indeed been fixed with a firmware update. And the firmware update process was fairly straightforward as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well.
I will catch up with you next time.